Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new. I decided to start a weekend vlog because we are chilling this weekend. Last weekend was ACL. If you guys didn't know, I live in Austin. ACL, aka Austin City Limits, is a huge three-day music festival here, so really took it out of me this week. Um, luckily, I didn't get sick, knock on wood, but I was feeling it in my chest and in my nose. Like It's just been so dry here in Austin, so the grounds were even more dusty than it had been in past years. I had only been to ACL one other year. I think it was back in 2021. And that was the best year because it was like Miley Cyrus, Meg Thee Stallion, Doja Cat, so many good people. This year, I didn't know too many people because I'm not like super into music like my boyfriend is or other people that I know are. I literally just like scroll TikTok for my job pretty much. So all I know are those trending TikTok sounds and half the time I don't even know who sings them. I'm going to be totally honest, but I did see Benson Boone. I know who that is. And then obviously I saw Dua Lipa, Caporone, which was insane to see her crowd in person. It was honestly iconic and I was so glad that I was able to experience that. Next weekend is an even bigger weekend because not only is F1 happening in Austin, but it's also UT versus UGA. And if you guys didn't know, Ryan went to UGA. So a lot of his friends are coming into town as well as his brother and my future sister-in-law. So that will be really fun. We have like a whole weekend planned for them and we're not going to the game, but we are just going to go tailgate and then go watch the game somewhere and just probably like go out. So this weekend we are going to rest, be wholesome, and also do just like little house projects here and there. My garden is a disaster. Like I said, it's super dry here. And even though we have a sprinkler set up, it's really not helping my plants. So I'll share my plan for that tomorrow. But right now I wanted to open a very exciting package with you guys. If you didn't know, I'm Apple's biggest fan. I literally received PR from Apple earlier this year. I think that was like two vlogs ago because I haven't been posting. But anyways, I received a Mac from Apple, which was actually insane. Um, but this is the new iPhone. I didn't receive this for free. I bought this. Since 90%, probably honestly 95% of my job is on my phone, I thought I would get an upgrade. I do have the iPhone 15 Pro Max currently. So I'm really curious if it's that much more of an upgrade, especially for like the camera. I mean, you guys know my job is pretty much like filming, editing, all of the stuff. I personally think it's beneficial to always have like the newest upgraded camera. So let's do a little unboxing of the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. It's so weird how it asks me to update the phone when it's like the brand new phone. Like how has that not already been updated to the like newest, what's called iOS? But now I have to back it up and restore it for my iCloud, which is going to take five ever because <laughs> it always does. I just ordered a new case on Amazon. It's like a tortoise color. I think it's coming tomorrow. Thank God. Ryan never has a case on his phone and I get so scared holding his phone. He never has a pop socket or anything and I know my phone is so much bigger so it's like harder for me to hold this phone but even when I hold his phone I feel like it's just gonna slip right out of my hand and just like hit the concrete. So I am immediately going to put on the case right when I get it um, and the screen protector because there was this one time I got the new iPhone and I was at like a photo session and I literally just like put down my phone on I think it was like concrete or a sidewalk and it shattered the back. I think it was back when it had a glass back and I was like literally are you kidding me? It was like maybe two days after I got the new phone and I was like okay well I'm not really gonna get that fixed because it's the back I don't really care but so annoying. They stopped giving the little blocks that you plug in. They only give you the cord now which is like especially because they stopped giving the blocks like a couple phones ago i think and they switched it from like usb to usb-c so now i only have usb blocks in my house like maybe i have like one or two of the usb-c but not enough so i have to order those on amazon but anyways this one is corded this like new cor not, not corded what am i saying it is um like braided i don't know can you tell it's not like that usual rubber material. We phone set up, but now it's just like downloading the apps. And I think that will probably take until tomorrow, to be honest. I feel like it's always so slow, but we are going to go get some sushi at this place called 
well, I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's either Kane or Kane, but it's up north in Cedar Park and they only take reservations. So I called at like 5 p.m. when they opened. I was like, can we come today? And she said she could get us in at 8.30. We're gonna try to go a little earlier to see if we can get in, but we also have to take out my friend's dog um, because they are all at ACL this weekend. So we are just gonna feed him, take him out, play with him a little bit, and then head over to sushi. This night's outfit, I love this dress. I think it's so flattering. I got it on newly, and then I'm wearing my teak sandals, um, and then just a sweater to throw on because I feel like every restaurant right now is just so cold inside, and I get cold easily. Saturday we woke up and Ryan was like put your work boots on we got a lot of shit to do so I am gonna start by staining the stairs this is definitely not a priority but I feel like I'm motivated I need to do it we got our floors done pretty much a year ago today and um, they needed like stair noses which I did not know was a thing and it would have taken so much longer to get the matching stair noses to the wood floor that we got so I ended up just getting some basic ones that weren't stained like to the color of our floors so my friend actually had this like wooden stool that she made a while ago I like noticed I was like oh like do you still have the stain for that because I feel like it would match my floors and there was a point in time where I was trying to find the perfect stain and I just couldn't so I asked her if I could borrow the stain and we're gonna try it out today and see if it like makes a big difference Ryan says he doesn't mind it being two-toned the stair noses are just so much lighter than the actual like wood stairs i truly don't think it's going to be a perfect match so either way it's going to be two-toned but i wanted it to be a little bit closer to the color of our wood floors one thing about me i don't like reading directions i don't like doing a lot of research i just like going head in and i know that's horrible but we're just gonna do it i'm literally going to apply it with a paper towel so let's see how it goes on the iphone it definitely looks like a bigger difference but on the camera it looks a lot lighter i did say it was still gonna be two-toned but i think it looks so much better especially in the mirror for like outfit of the days which don't you guys love my outfit? <laughs> um, I think it looks a lot more cohesive. Dang, it really just does not look very different on the camera. But I'll put in iPhone clips because I feel like it is a little bit more true to color. Today we're doing a lot of house stuff. I just mowed the grass. Had to make a mixture of gas oil for the weed eater. Because and then weed the gas was expensive? Well, it's just like the small thing at Home Depot. It was like 18 bucks. I paid like 11 for like two gallons of it. Um, so weed eater everywhere. Mode. All right, these are the sconces that I want him to put on the like she shed thing. Do I call it a she shed? What is it called? It's a shed. <laughs> but it looks so cute. Spooky like room for Helen. <laughs> no. See, the hinges are black, so I don't think it'll look bad. What do you think? No. Lower. Are you sure? Yeah. I think so. I paused making YouTube videos before the kitchen got done, so this is what it looks like now. I don't know if you guys remember, but we had gray cabinets and no backsplash, but we also got these new appliances, and we need to get rid of these old appliances. So I actually just put them on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody is coming in an hour to check out the oven. I honestly feel like this oven was brand new when we moved into the house because it was just like so clean, and the sticker was still on it. So I don't really know if it was brand new. I felt bad for like lying if it wasn't, but obviously we used it, you know, for like a couple months before we were gonna get rid of it. This was another thing on our list, the garage, because it's really messy in here, but Ryan said that his Georgia game's on soon, so we might have to do this another day. It's a disaster in here, truly. But anyways, yeah, so Wendy's gonna come check this out. Hopefully they buy it because that would be just one less thing we have in here. So I accidentally broke this mirror and we're finally getting it hauled away and we got this new mirror i'm not sure if i showed it recently but anyways they are here oh
crazy what one coffee can do because now I'm about to start on my artwork that I've been meaning to do. I think I bought this canvas like about two weeks ago and I was actually originally going to do it with my friend. We're going to have like an art night, but we have just not been on the same schedules and I really just want to get this done and put up in my office. We're going to start on my office artwork first and then if it turns out good, I will do maybe like one for our bedroom, maybe like two for our bedroom. The ones that are like similar artworks, similar colors, but like just like right next to each other. I feel like that would um, look good and also just like take up more space. We just have so many bare walls and we have done a lot to this house in the year that we've been here. I just feel like there could be more decor and that will make it feel a lot more homey and cozy. I accidentally made this house a sad beige house. It wasn't the intention, but I'm not mad about it because now I can kind of play around with decor and artwork and that you could easily switch out. But things like the tile, you know, I wanted that to be a little bit more timeless, especially for resale. I think for the powder bathroom, it's the last thing that we want to renovate because we've done all the other bathrooms. So I feel like it'd be weird to leave that one unrenovated if we sell the house not that we have any plans to sell the house i feel like a lot of people were wondering if we're just like flipping it and reselling it for the options i chose to renovate like the tile the tile in the bathroom the floors like those are nicer options i definitely would have gone a cheaper route if i was going to rent it out or sell it right off the bat so no we don't have any plans to sell but anyways back to the artwork i actually bought this at ross and it is giant it is like the perfect size that i was looking for and i think it was like 20 bucks so check your ross it's in the back of like the toy section for children All right, we are going to leave it right here. I can always come back and add more, but I think that's the hardest part about making your own art because you don't know when to stop, at least I don't. I wanted to do something Indian inspired, so I decided to do some like abstract elephant trunks and I don't hate it, but I don't think I love it just yet. I can tell that this is still drying, so I don't know if it's gonna be as streaky as the top one or if it's just gonna be more opaque, but I thought it was cute, kind of like a mom elephant and daughter elephant or just like soulmate elephants so i don't know let's see what it looks like when it dries it is 5 27 and i am supposed to meet my friends at sushi at 6 15 on south congress i don't look too far away but i'm not quite ready i really wanted to curl my hair i'm not sure if we'll have time for that to be honest but let me just do some powder using the house labs i actually just got a few new house labs products this is the one in translucent to be totally honest with you guys i just had a menti b over my outfit i am doing newly but a lot of the outfits were like more acl vibes because we went last weekend and i didn't really have much for just like casual outfits i did find this top in there so i was like okay this is probably the best i can do for tonight because like now that I do newly, I don't really buy like a ton of stuff for my closet, obviously, like I don't need to. So when I don't have my newly packages and I'm like in between and it's a weekend, it's bad news. I feel like I have a mental breakdown over an outfit. I've been really consistent in the gym since January, which is actually insane. I don't think I've worked out this long since ever i do lifetime classes now and i love them i actually like love getting up and i feel really really weird if i don't get up super early to do it but grad season's ramping up if you guys don't know i'm a photographer so i have a lot of sessions coming up in the morning so then i'll have to probably skip my workout but i'm still going to be waking up so i feel like it wouldn't be too much of a difference oh my god i feel like so dehydrated I have not been drinking enough water. That's another thing because I work out 
Um, I like drink pretty much one whole water bottle in the morning, but if I don't work out, then I forget to drink water. So obviously today, it's a Saturday, I didn't really work out. And now I'm kind of feeling the effects of it. And if I don't drink enough water, I immediately get a headache where nothing can cure it but sleep. So we're not trying to have that happen today because I really want to go to sushi. It's truly my lucky weekend that I'm eating sushi twice in a row. I was already going to dinner with Ryan yesterday. And then my friend asked me if I wanted to go to Neighborhood Sushi, which like I've been wanting to go there for a very long time. I went a really long time ago with my friend and her dad and he was like treating us all to dinner. So I couldn't really like order what I wanted and he ordered like really good stuff, but I, I feel like I didn't get to try a lot of the things I wanted to try. Yesterday's sushi place was in Cedar Park and it is so worth the drive. And yes, I'm being dramatic about a 30 minute drive because honestly, that's just how my life has been over the past five years. Like I'm from suburbs of Atlanta. So going to Atlanta from Roswell would be like 45 minutes on a good day, probably longer with traffic. And so back then I was used to a really long drive to go to dinner. And now when I go back home for Thanksgiving and Christmas and we go out to dinner, I'm like, oh my God, this is taking forever. We moved to South Austin last October from East Austin, which I miss very, very much. We used to live in Lenox 7th um, and that is right where they're building all those new bars, like the Cabana Bar and then Holiday's right next to it, which is like my favorite frozen Mexican margarita. Is it martini or Mexican mar martini or Mexican margarita? Oh my god, it is delicious. If you have not tried it, you need to go. And what else? Like breweries. We did have holiday in the brewery for like a little bit when we were still there, but Cabana Bar just got built while we were in this house. So I was just like, dang, like we had such a good location at the end of it. But like when we first moved into it, we lived there for like two years. So like maybe three years ago, there was like nothing over there. And so it definitely wasn't walkable, I will say. Like it was towards the highway a little bit more. I don't know how I got into this rant, to be honest. Okay, now I remember. So when I lived in East Austin, things were like 12 minutes, 15 minutes max. Now that I'm in South Austin, things are like, you know, 17, 18, 20, which still is not bad at all. And I've definitely gotten used to it. When I first moved here, coming from like literally 12 minutes or like 10 minutes to get to anywhere, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be so annoying. And now I'm a little further from UT and that's basically my commute for work because I do grad photos at UT. Um, but anyways, I know I'm being super dramatic, but also this is just like what I'm used to now and I've been spoiled. Um, I'm using this newer blush that I got called Fire Moon from House Labs, the color is Fire Moon. And it's just this gorgeous, it looks a little bit more corally on camera, but I feel like it is like a sun-kissed fall blush. And I think it is so gorgeous. I have to let my friend's dog out again today. But I think they left a little bit later. So I'm just going to go after dinner. And that should be fine. Because I don't think I'm going to be out too late. Using dry shampoo from day. This smells so good. Okay. Just make sure not to spray it too close to your head. Because I've done that before. And it just it's like super white. But it literally smells delicious. I plugged in my curler, but now I'm like, I don't know if I have any time to curl my hair slash I feel like I can work with this. This is my natural hair. It's like blow or not blow dried, air dried. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna maybe like do a claw clip if anything. Um, let me do a little lip though. You guys know I love my lip liners. And then this lip gloss from House Labs in the color guava it is such a good color okay. good morning happy sunday i'm in my favorite set i love this thing it is just so flattering it's from aloe um this looks a little weird though i really need to learn how to like wash things correctly because i don't know it's looking a little Am I wearing it inside out? 
my phone. Over here. All right, well, I'll be changing this in a second. But anyways, <laughs> I love the skirt. I actually have it in black and um, it is just like the best thing ever. But we're gonna try out a new coffee shop and slash bakery. The chef's name is Amanda Rockman and I've had a couple of her things before, but now she has like her own brick and mortar, which is really exciting. So I wanna go check it out. It's in East Austin. So it is actually opening weekend for this bakery. And I just thought they would be like out of stuff, but no, there's like a, a line kind of like wrapped a little bit around the building. Um, so we're not probably gonna wait in that. We'll just go next weekend or actually we probably won't have time next weekend. All of Ryan's friends are coming in for UT UGA, but um, we'll go another time. Or maybe even during the weekdays. <laughs> maybe that would be smart. <laughs> okay, where are we going now? We're already on the east side. Do you want your Fletch? No, I don't have a preference. Sophie's sad. She really wanted a croissant. Also, don't mind her um, scruffiness. She's getting groomed tomorrow. I wanted to give her a bath today, but I'm like, mm, that's their job. I'm literally paying someone tomorrow. She's going to have to wait one more day. Come on. Ryan's favorite coffee in Austin. And what? what's your order? Maple. Oh, I'm sorry, it's maple, but I actually like their ice latte a little better. A fall treat. It's been a pretty productive and slow Sunday. I went through my closet and got rid of a ton of stuff, so that felt really good. Still doing loads of laundry, but I wanted to come out here and show you guys the jasmine. I can't remember when I planted it into the ground, but it's grown quite a bit since I did. I'll put a picture for reference right here. I'm hoping it just grows all the way up to the sides and like kind of connects on the top. We'll see. I don't know how long that's going to take, but honestly, it's growing a lot faster than I even thought. I went to Central Market this week and got these absolutely stunning flowers. I pretty much picked out like the hydrangeas, baby's breath, and this flower. I'm not really sure what it is separately. And then um, they wrap it for you if you ask. And I like doing this because they are way better at like putting it together. So it looks really gorgeous. I think I got this on Wednesday or something. I'm trying to make it last as long as possible. I actually just switched out the water um, because we have some people coming in town. So I want them to be nice and lively when they get here. It's funny because I've had this mirror frame right here for a very long time and there's nothing in it. I need to get a picture printed out. But as a photographer and as someone who has so many photos, it's so hard to choose which one is like good enough to go in a frame. So I literally do not have any picture frames around the house, which is so weird. I have not seen gaps in my closet probably since we moved in here. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> now I have so many hangers. I barely know what to do with, which is a good thing. It's nice because I can actually go like this instead of like struggling to push things in. So I'm happy I got that done. Oh. <sighs> 